Hello everyone and welcome! In today's review, we are going to be taking a look at the Cicada, the latest test flight from Discraft. Now, when it comes to the flight numbers, I don't think anything has officially been posted yet at the time of this video, but the numbers you're seeing there is the uh, general consensus from the community on what the Cicada would be. Now, when getting into the profile and feel, the Cicada is a very thin profile disc. It has a very flat flight plate, semi-gradual shoulder, and a blunt nose. It kind of reminds me very closely to the Rhythm from Axiom, that very slender profile, very shallow feeling fairway driver. And maybe it's because of that slender profile, but I feel the Cicada is faster than what the numbers are indicating, but with that blunt nose, that could be why it's a Speed 7. And for the plastic, I don't think this is Z, I believe it's Crystal, and overall Crystal does tend to be a little bit more overstable, so it's going to be interesting to see how the stock runs turn out. Alright, but how does the Cicada fly? Because that's what we're all here to find out. Well, the Cicada is an understable disc. Now, if you power down and throw it on a hyzer, yes, it will hold the hyzer, but this is a hyzer flipping machine. Just rip into it on a bit of hyzer and you're going to get absolute effortless flex shots. It's going to flip up to flat, hold a gentle turn, and then it has sneaky stability at the end, so it will try to level itself out and fight back at the end of the flight. And because it is just so effortless when it comes to those flex shots, it just has huge distance potential, particularly for players with slower arms. Also, I have to say the Cicada surprised me with how much glide it has because it is so shallow, that very flat flight plate. I didn't think it was going to have much glide, but it proved me wrong. It definitely has a very good amount. One area of caution with the Cicada is that it is not the best forehanding disc unless you really know how to, con um, how to control the angle and the speed in which you release. When thrown at 50%, it flipped up to flat nicely, got a little bit of turn, and then kind of hyzered out. 75%, as you can see, much more noticeable amount of turn, but then when you really rip into this, it's just going to turn over pretty much into a roller for a lot of big arms. Now, where I can see the Cicada being useful when it comes to forehanding is in the woods, particularly for you forehanding specialists who really know how to control the angle and the speed. In the woods, you could probably carve up a lot of real unique lines that a lot of other more stable discs just are not going to be able to hit. It's also worth noting, since this is an understable disc, it is not going to be good in the wind. This is not going to be a wind fighting disc. So if you're looking for a wind fighter, this is not it. If it is windy, I would say keep this disc in the bag because of its understability. It particularly understability in the early part of the flight, the wind really does like to take these and throw them about. But don't let those few concerns deter you. There is so much you can do with the Cicada. Whether it be hyzer flipping down tunnels, pen pending standstills, flex shots, or big turnovers, there is so much you can do. Because of that combination of low resistance to torque in the early and mid flight, pair that up with the sneaky amount of um, stability in the later parts of the flight and the really decent amount of glide, the Cicada is going to be widely popular for players with slower to medium arms. And again, for bigger arms, this is just going to be a great backhand roller disc, forehand touch shot disc in the woods where you can really manipulate the different lines. Overall, again, for amateurs, I think this is going to be a very popular disc for you more kind of advanced to pro level players. You may see it a few times in the bag, but I don't think it's going to be as widely usable. Now let's go ahead and see how I would use the Cicada out on the course. Now this, there are two different pin positions, one on the right, one on the left, and I'm going to show you how to attack both. There's a lot of wide open airspace, so I'm going to take advantage of that on both shots. For the first shot, I'm going to throw a hyzer flip straight at the basket, taking advantage of the Cicada's understability in that early flight, knowing it's going to get that turn, and then that late stability kicking in at the very end. And for the longer pin position, I probably could have put a little bit more Anheuser angle on it, but still, you can see just how nice and understable it is where you can hit multiple different types of shots. Now this hole, you have dense foliage on both the left and right hand side, forcing you to take the narrow gap straight up the middle. And it is also uphill. So just throw the cicada flat, maybe a slight hyzer, get it just to flip up, and it's going to carry just straight up that hill almost effortlessly. 
Now you have gauntlet of trees, early trees on both the left and right, and then late trees down in the middle of the fairway, forcing you to take this left hand gap. And again, with how the cicada just naturally has a lot of turn in that mid flight, throw it flat, just let it just have that nice gentle turn. And then with that late stability, it's gonna come back at the end. Now for this big turnover shot, a lot of wide open air space. I could try forehand and power down, but where's the fun in that? So we're just gonna throw big Anheuser and it's gonna hold it just all the way to the basket. Just so many different shot shapes and lines you can hit with the Cicada. It is just so much fun to throw. When it comes to lefty lines, I wanted to throw the Cicada against a couple other speed seven to speed eight fairway drivers. First, the Cicada, as you can see, it flips up to flat when thrown on a slight hyzer, gets a little bit of turn and then a bit of a finish at the very end versus the Sting, which was thrown on even more of a hyzer angle and it's just gone. Even though they share the same flight numbers potentially, the Sting is just way more understable. And then kind of more on the straighter side where the Cicada kind of sits between is the Passion. Whereas the Passion is the straight version, the Cicada is kind of the slightly understable version to the Passion complement, and then the Sting is the very understable. But as you're seeing there, the rhythm from Axiom, that is where I think the Cicada most closely matches. I did mention earlier that the Cicada really reminded me of the rhythm when it came to the profile of that really slim profile. Well, also with the flight as well. Both are very easy to hyzer flip. They both get generally about the same amount of turn. And then when they both slow down, they do have a very comparable finish. So overall, how do I feel about the Cicada? Well, it definitely doesn't have nearly as much torque resistance as say a Passion. It's not as straight as a Passion but it definitely kind of fits in between that and say where the sting is. I think because of where it kind of sits, it's gonna be very widely popular. It's gonna be something that a lot of players are gonna be able to hyzer flip. They're gonna be able to work on a f quite a few different shots, particularly on the understable side of things and in the woods. So overall, I think it's gonna be popular. I definitely like it, I'm having a lot of fun. And hopefully you guys learned a little bit while watching this video. As always, please subscribe if you haven't already. That way you can see new videos releasing every one to two weeks. Follow me on Instagram. Also, be sure to go visit GreatLakesDisc.com once these drop. And while you're there, be sure to use promo code LEFTY at checkout. Not only are you helping the channel when you do that, but you're also saving yourself 10%. Till next time, everyone, keep banging them chains.